Hello, Victor family. Welcome to the Wednesday Word, a brief encouragement from the scriptures. I'm hoping that you are staying safe and you have enjoyed these recent uh, snow days and hope that you were able to get out and enjoy that, maybe build a snowman or go sledding. I know me and me and Sharon went and uh, went for a walk, but also tossed a few snowballs at each other. So, but hopefully you are enjoying this time. But I consider it an honor and a privilege to bring you this word from the Lord. Um, and seeing as how we recently just celebrated Martin Luther King Day, I thought it is somewhat fitting to uh, use this verse just to uh, bring light on how we as Christians are to live and view people. So from Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14. Psalm 139 verses 13 and 14. For you formed my inward parts you knitted me together in my mother's womb. I praise you, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. Now, this is obviously one of those scriptures that we use a lot of times when it comes to uh, showing um, the value of life, especially unborn life. And that is definitely... Um, a big part of this verse because it speaks to the fact that before we were born, before we ever left our mother's wombs, God created us. He built us. He knitted us together in our mother's womb. So we see that we see that not only is God forming us, but he says, the psalmist says that I am fearfully and wonderfully made, that the idea of God knitting us together shows that there is purpose and there is design and there is goodness and thoughtfulness to what God did when he gave us life. And so, yes, as Christians, we hold to the fact that that unborn life is so precious and so valuable and needs to be treasured. But we see also that not only does it speak to unborn life, but it speaks to our life, our life as living, breathing, walking human beings, that we, as we go about our daily lives, that we are fearfully and wonderfully made, that God, in giving us life, even back in the womb, he created us for a beautiful, wonderful purpose. Wonderful are your works. My soul knows it very well. And so God created us for a reason and for a purpose. And as Christians, we should celebrate that. We should celebrate the fact that God took great care and design in how he created us, that he created us for a specific purpose that he gifted us in our abilities and our talents and even our weaknesses, that he gave us those things that make us unique and special. God is truly great and wonderful. But the beautiful thing is, is that in the same way that God did that for us, he did that for all people, that God created all life. And that's one of the big things of Christianity is that we recognize that God is our creator, that he creates all life. And so therefore, as Christians, we believe in the thing called the Imago Dei, the image of God. That all people are created in the image of God. They bear his fingerprints all over them. That we, as human beings, we have some of those divine qualities in lesser extents. That we are creative. That we are capable of feeling emotions and love. That we get to experience and learn and grow. That we, we get to do these things that represent our Heavenly Father. But that also means that being made in the image of God means that we as human beings all have value and worth. And so as Christians, we as a people should be the ones first and foremost to celebrate and to pursue goodness of life for all people. We should be ones who seek the value of all people. And I know that as human beings that we fail to do that that we struggle sometimes with prejudice or racism or even thinking more highly of ourselves than we ought to. And we see several passages in Scripture that speak against the sin of partiality. But the beautiful thing is that God created us as one people, human beings created in the image of God. 
And as Christians, we get to go beyond that to being the family of God, brothers and sisters, regardless of who we are. The Bible in the New Testament says that with Christ, there is no division, that he wipes away Jew and Greek, free and slave, that all are united under the family of God. And so as we look at and come off the hills of Martin Luther King Day, where we recognize the efforts of one man and many others who saw to, to show that, that true um, representation and equality amongst all people is needed, that value and human worth and dignity is needed and needs to be recognized. In the same way, we as Christians, we above all people, should be those who recognize that all people have worth. And so let us be like this psalmist where we recognize that God has created and knitted everyone together, that we all have value and worth. And so as we move forward, let us be people who speak into the value and worth of people, where we show them the respect that they deserve because they are made in the image of God. And that has many different applications. And I don't have the time to go into that, but... Just know that God wants us to be people to celebrate life, all of life. From womb to tomb, we celebrate and promote and seek to enrich all life, regardless of who it is. And I'm thankful that as a church, we do that in many different ways, whether it be raising money for our pregnancy centers to helping those who are in homeless, homeless situations. We do many wonderful things that elevate and to celebrate the life and value of people. And so will you pray with me and will you take up this challenge to be people who promote life, all life, and give it the respect and worth that it needs? Will you pray with me? Heavenly Father, Lord, thank you that you have knitted us as people, that you have created us for specific purposes, and therefore we have value and worth. And Lord, in this time where it seems like there's a lot of division and anger and hatred and misunderstanding, especially among people, Lord, I pray that we as Christians, that we would celebrate life, that we would be on the side of life, that we would promote the well-being of life. And Lord, help us to be people of respect, of honor, of care, Lord. May we show your love and compassion that you had when you went to the least of these, Lord. But Lord, I pray that we would point them to you, shine your light to let them know that they do have value and worth because they are made in your image. And Lord, thank you that you have brought us into the family of God where there is no division, where we are all sons and daughters of our Abba Father. Thank you for that, Lord. We praise your name. We give you all praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Be blessed with your family. Thank you.